As support at home dwindles for U.S. military aid to Ukraine, President Joe Biden pledges that the U.S. will stand with the nation as long as it takes. He made an unannounced visit to Ukraine's capital city today. ABC's Justin Finch has you covered on the details. An historic day in Kyiv. President Biden making a previously unannounced stop in Ukraine's capital city with heavily armed police and army officers standing guard. You see Joe Biden. Ukraine's President Zelensky showing Biden his plaque, among others, honoring world leaders who stood with Ukraine in dark times. The two presidents also discussing that nation's path forward in its nearly year old war with Russia. Freedom is priceless. It's worth fighting for for as long as it takes. And that's how long we're going to be with you, Mr. President, for as long as it takes. The White House says the U.S. alerted Russian officials about Biden's travel to prevent potential conflicts. The surprise stop coming one day before Biden's Poland visit, where he's expected to give a speech to rally worldwide support for Ukraine. Uh, the Ukrainians are now pushing back and taking back up to 50 percent of what the Russians took in the initial push. It is working. But polling this month from ABC News and The Washington Post finds 33 percent of Americans saying the U.S. is doing too much for Ukraine. That's up from 14 percent last spring. And after many Republicans have insisted the U.S. won't give Ukraine a blank check. That is an argument that this White House strongly rejects. They note that Ukraine isn't getting everything they have asked for. Biden saying today there's now significant support in Congress for Ukraine. And the president spent more than five hours today in Ukraine with U.S. air surveillance planes keeping watch over Biden from Polish airspace. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.